Hello everybody, Zach here. Welcome back to another Chase Me in GTA 5. Today we're going to be using the Aerial Nomad, uh, which is a buggy design with the same principles as the Aerial Atom, basically. Um, you know, light frame, basically nothing there. Um, you're exposed to all the elements basically all the time. And I think it'll be fun to off-road, on-road this around the city and the desert inside of San Andreas and run from the police. So, let's get out there. We can get into. Oh my god, just listen to this thing. Sounds insane. It's obviously, I would assume using some type of motorcycle sound to make it sound like that. Sounds awesome though. Sounds awesome. All right, let's go ahead and go in here and select two stars. Start off with two stars and we're kind of headed already into the, you know, more towards Sandy Shores area and all that stuff. The handling leaves a little bit to be desired, not gonna lie. Also, I don't know why the camera's not higher, but we'll go to this camera. Oh yeah, look at that suspension movement. That is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. We're gonna turn through here and, and go through here. We're gonna jump through here, excuse me. Oh, this is, this is fun. This is fun just to drive around. Seriously, I have a lot of fun just driving certain, you know, like, add-ons in GTA. Let alone attempting to run from the police in them. Let's just hope we can get some police guys on us. Watch out, bunny. Beautiful. This thing just wants to drift. I believe it's, in real life, it's, they're both rear-wheel drive. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're both rear-wheel drive. And there's just a little... Honda engine on the back of this. I say little, but I think it produces something like 250 horsepower or something close to that. What's the uh, first person? Oh, first person looks awesome in this. Look at this. It looks amazing. Because everything's just so open. Well, we got a working down. Oh, hello. Oh, that's beautiful. Hey guys, how you guys doing? The awesome mod. Link will be in the description as per usual for this car. I usually say that in the beginning. For some reason I didn't. If you want to pick this up. There's all, multiple versions too. Let's go through this intersection. Sneak through here. Oh, uh, and we... Yep. Oh, you would. You would. But joke's on you. I'm in the Nomad. Joke's on you. I can just drive off-road if I want. Thing has no problem with doing so. Guys are gone. Just gone. I oh, seriously, I love the noise. Love the exhaust note. Oh, into the Fort Zanku or into the yeah. Well, it is Fort Zanku on into. Oh, here we go. Perfect. <laughs> then you go off road. I don't really throw them off. Get it? Really throw them off? <laughs> That's a terrible joke. Oh man, they came this way. Because of course they did. Because of course they did. Go back this way. Because they're all knowing. Watch out, puppy. Hope he doesn't get hit by the police. Okay, we're kind of going back exactly where we came from. I just love the suspension travel, too. I mean, it is like a buggy, so it only makes sense. Yeah, turning leaves a little bit to be desired, but that's why I'm pretty much drifting it when I have the opportunity. Not too bad, though. Oh, that speed. Look at this. Holy God, we're flying in this thing. Oh, can't look behind. And I really shouldn't, too, at this speed. <laughs> oh my God, we are flying. Oh, of course, we pretty much drove into them, basically. Luckily, there's no traffic. Why do I keep trying to look behind? Oh, hello. 
Oh, the brakes leave something to be desired, too. Go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, see? That was me. I, I had it full lock left. Unable. And they're shooting at me already. Great job, guys. Great job. I'm going to turn left here. All right, we're just going to go through here. Didn't really intend to do that. Oh, you know what? Use off. Use the dirt anytime I can. Is the logic today. Nope, nobody behind me. All right, let's try to stop here for a second. Hopefully, I'm in a spot that, you know, they're not all knowing of right this second. Come on. I'm going to lose the two stars. Yep, that's the easy part in comparison to what's coming next, which is the part where I always die. All right, four stars. Let's go. We're starting on a dirt road, but, you know, the helicopter will come to us eventually. Oh, yeah. Got some air there. Just look at the suspension travel. That's amazing. I love it. All right, we should. We're probably going to see a helicopter here shortly if we don't see any other units. Not seeing anything. And roadblock. And I'm going to sneak through there. Perfect. Also, I usually try to look up. And there we got ghost SUVs. I try to look up, oh, right into your cruiser. I try to look up the uh, vehicle colors before I start anytime I run or, or drive a vehicle in GTA 5. Um, and mostly I do that because I want, it to get, I want it to be realistic. Sometimes it spawns in with a color choice that's, oh, that's realistic. Sometimes it doesn't. I love this matte black and orange. I think it looks awesome. Hell out of my way. That was one of the color schemes that I guess they come with uh, by default. All right, we're getting shot at. Not a surprise. And they definitely probably took at least... Yep, took the front right out. That's not good. That's not good at all. Definitely when I chose to go off-road for this. Chose to drive on the dirt. They're just pelting me. Oh my god. I get it, it's four stars, but come on, guys. Oh, I could have jumped that. And too slow, too late. I feel like I have no defense in this vehicle either. Basically, with just being completely exposed. Like, they're going to shoot at me and just kill me while I'm in the car. All right. Glad there's so many ghost SUVs. Come on, get me out of here. Get me out of here. The whole department's behind me. Oh man, this is rough. This is rough. Hello, ghost SUVs. Hopefully they intercept. Hopefully they make it more difficult for the other police cars. Oh, man, get me through here. It's still actually handling pretty well, considering. Ah, I said that. I said that. Why would I, why would I have said that? And then gotten, oh, watch out. Oh, the flight drove over a person, flipped the car. Oh, oh no, they shot my fuel tank. Well, that would make sense. It's pretty much basically exposed. I'm going to take out at least. I'm going to take out whatever I can in this. Get back here. Get back here. You realize what you're in? Boom. That's going to be it for the Nomad. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like this Chase Me series. If you do, please like the video. Leave a comment if you want to see anything else or you want to see a different car or what have you. I appreciate it, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.